Yo, what is going on, boys? It's your boy, Wish You Luck, back at it again with another YouTube video. Um, so today's topic, uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, the, the fucking never-ending argument that seems to be in my chat every single weekend about Trials of Osiris. I always have these people come in saying, you know, Wish, you know, stats don't mean anything. Stats mean nothing. Why? Why would? Why would we ever base like use stats to to depict the player? You know what I mean? Like stats don't mean shit. And I'm always like, yeah, I see where you're coming from, but would you rather have a seven KD and, or a point five KD on your team? And they're like, well, does the point five KD sweat? Basically. Um, I wanted to showcase this game that we played on Trials of Osiris, and it was we were down 0-2, and I believe we made a 5-2 comeback. Um, and I think the reason why we were even down this game was simply because in the beginning of this game, I looked up these guys like Trials team, and their stats were awful. Like, one of them had good stats. One of them had, like, a 2-point-something KD. The other guys were, like, 0 .9, 0 .6, and I'm just like, okay, it's going to be an easy game. Like, one of them is double-carrying. We'll be fine. Turns out these were account recoveries. If they weren't account recoveries, then shit. Then call me Debra and slap my ass because these guys were playing a lot better than a fucking point six KD. Um, but I think that... A big argument or a big a big topic of discussion constantly in my chat seems to be, well, my stats are this and I'm better than this guy or this doesn't differentiate this. Let me just break this shit down for people. Your stats hold some weight, okay? Sure, if you have a 1.3 KD, you don't know if the 1.4 or 1.5 is better than you. It's not necessarily saying they're better than you, but... It's saying you generally understand the game and you can get kills, right? We can all agree. 1.3 to like 1.7. You, you have a basic understanding of the game and you're, you're an average player, correct? Now, does this change for Destiny because of sweats? Now, sweat players have very low KDs because they're constantly going against the best players in the world. I completely understand that. But disregarding the... You know, the, the pure minority. Disregarding sweats. Because not everyone in Destiny fucking sweats. You know what I mean? Like, it's not every single fucking player in the game that's a sweat. So just talking about the average player base. Okay? 1.3 to 1.7. Those guys are average players. If they just play pubs. Average players. 2.0 to 3.0, those guys are very good players. They they're they're quick on their they're quick on their fingers. Um, they generally do what they have to do to get the kill, or they play very cheesy. That could also be a way. Stormcaller, universal remote. You, you guys get the deal. 3.0 to 4.0, those guys are pub stomps. They they run around in Destiny and just absolutely destroy most of the community. Um, but that's not to take away from their ability because you don't we don't know if we put them against sweats if they'll play well. What I'm trying to get you know what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a 0.5 KD or a 0.7 KD or even a 0.9 KD odds are you're not going to be better than the next guy. Just odds are. You know what I'm talking about? But to say like, oh, stats don't mean anything. Stats are the stats have no weight in how good a player is. I think that's complete horseshit. Because even if let's even if we're talking if even if we're talking about the sweats, you guys think that the sweats who have a point eight KD in comparison to other sweats who have a one point five KD, you think those like those don't mean anything? You think that means absolutely dog shit? That doesn't make any sense. You have to always think about KDs and your stats and all that shit relative to what you play. If you play a lot of sweats, then sure, your KD is going to be low. But compare yourself to other sweats. Compare yourself to other competitive Destiny players. Compare your stats to theirs. If you see someone plays pubs all the time, then compare their pub stats to the average pub stat. I would say an average pub player 
who's good at Destiny will float around a 1.7 to a 2.1. Average. Anything below that, 1.2, 1.3, you're probably just an average player. Like, you're just one of those guys that goes like 12 and 10 every game. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just this, this constant fucking beating of my head against the wall. Trying to explain this to people in my in my chat. Like, oh, well, I have a 1.5 and he has a 1.6. That doesn't mean he's better than me. No, you fucking dipshit. It doesn't mean he's better than you. That's not what we're saying at all. But you guys are, are relatively similar. People are always so high, so so high on their horse about their stats. Like, my stats are better than this guy. This guy is better than that. Guy. Like, that's why the, the 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 stat command in my channel is literally for subs only, because the cancer that spreads from people checking their own statistics and and stroking their own ego in Destiny is just disgusting. Like, you guys have no idea how frustrating it is every single day to have to listen to these people fucking bitch and moan about how good of a player they are because of their stats. It's so stupid. Um, anyway, as for this game, well, like I said, we started this game off very, very fucking slow. Um, like, we checked their statistics in trials. They didn't seem too good, but um, as we started playing these guys, we realized, like, hey, these guys might actually be account recoveries. Wish, what are account recoveries? It's when people pay other people to get on their account and take them to the lighthouse. A lot of people do it. I don't offer it personally. I still believe that those people who do pay me to go to the lighthouse are paying for the experience of playing with me for an hour. Um, and I do like to say, like, you know, they've earned it. If, they, if they've if they played all, all seven games with me and they get to the lighthouse, they've earned it. Whereas people who pay pretty much the same price and then get their account taken over or whatever, um, I don't think you're earning it. I think, that, I think those kind of people are... are are just basically doing it for the loot and you know if they don't have time that's different but most people that do it do have the time they actually watch the streamers play on their accounts to get them flawless it's very stupid but um yeah we were down 3-1 made a solid comeback you see it you saw a really an amazing play by shaky with his storm collar you saw a really really good clutch by me um i think it was on the 3-1 round it was a 1v3 with my tether yeah yeah fucking sick fucking sick dude uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this one pan out. Just gonna let this one pan out. Just, just, just wish you luck talking to himself here. Yeah, yeah. Just wonder what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, might have some oatmeal. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. It's your boy. Wish you luck. Sign the fuck out. Peace. Another battle won.